At 23, Tomoko Shikuma considers herself an old soul. She never got along with the girls her age growing up in rural Western Japan. So two years ago, she made her way up to Tokyo. Swept into the life of a hostess in a cabaret club, or kabakura. It was my job to entertain my customers. If something good had happened, I felt happy for him. If he was down, I was too. We were not selling a piece of cake or an eraser. Our service is invisible. She and the club both made good money on those invisible services, per hour rates and expensive bottles of alcohol. At most kabakura, sex is not on the menu, just companionship. But all that turned into frustration when the club stopped paying her. Tomoko says she's owed almost $10,000. That's when she joined the Kabakura Union. They help protect the women from sexual abuse and harassment, but mostly it's about unpaid wages. Of their 150 cases, they've solved nearly 80%. The business owners don't care much about abiding by regulations or laws. They use their own rules. So the union fights back. Its members swarm into this club early on a Saturday night. They tell the management why they are there, demanding a member's unpaid wages. The club then calls the police, who arrive quickly. No arrests are made. They won't leave until a manager accepts a letter from the union listing the case. So after confronting the club's management upstairs, the union members are down here now on street level. They're handing out these yellow flyers that details the case against the management of this club not paying salary. Once this protest is over, they'll pack up their stuff and head out to another part of Tokyo and do it all over again. Some here are not pleased with the protest, telling the police to put a stop to it. I thought being punched could have been better than the pressure to sell more as I desperately needed the unpaid wages to make a living. Even after all of this, Tomoka would not tell young women to steer clear of becoming a hostess. She says it's just as honorable as an office job. They just need to be smart about it, do their research and talk to the union about which clubs have cases against them. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.